Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns, and today I have a few shout outs for you. There's not a ton of them, but there's a couple. And then I have a few uh, things I've purchased. Yeah. All right. And the first channel is Mimi's Mixed Bag. She showcases a variety of crafts, recipes, and seasonal decor. Then there is Gabby's Garden. Gabby is a dumpster diver, and uh, I find her rather interesting to watch her uh, as she does hers. Cheryl's Creations. Now, Cheryl is fascinated with amigurumi. I am, too, but, you know, I don't practice it enough to really say that I do it. <laughs> she always has a stash of blankets and small items that she sells or donates to local homeless shelter. Her grandchildren always have a list of things they want her to make, and her greatest status is being Mimi. She is a full-time professor at Indiana's largest community college. She teaches psychology and social sciences, and she looks forward to the day that all things crochet is her full-time job. Good luck, Mimi. I hope you get there soon. Then there is N Stitches Crochet by SL. This is Stacy, and she does a lot of crochet how-tos. Then there is Maniac Grammy's Homestead. This is Brenda and Ray, and they do quite a few uh, projects. Um, they live a slow life and a simple life in Maine. They have 175 acres that they do videos on, and it's interesting. Um, they do gardening, herbs, cooking, baking, and crafts. Ray's projects are mostly going to be wood cutting, thinning out the wood harvest, sawmill, and claiming back old pasture land. And I find that interesting to watch. Then there is gnome and backyard creative crafts. This young lady, she has always had a passion for crafting and finding ways to creatively decorate her home and backyard on a budget, and she takes us on that journey. Um, she believes that your home decor is definitely an extension of your personality, so why shouldn't you play a large part in bringing your home and backyards individually, individuality to life? Yep, I like her channel. The Crafty DIY Guy. He is also known, this is Jamie, he is also a guy who loves to craft and creates. He does a lot of things from Dollar Tree. Uh, he does a lot of overalls, um, cooking to thrift store flips, and dupes. He kind of loves it all. After purchasing his first home, Jamie discovered DIY projects became important for budget reasons, and he discovered his love to create. And he started in 2019. So check out Jamie's channel. He's got some very interesting videos. Then there is Bob's Art Studio. I love this guy. Bob Schmidt. First of all, Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior. He is saved. He is not perfect, just forgiven. He is a retired carpenter and electronics technician and an artist from Kansas City, Missouri. He does a lot of portraits in pencil, ink, oil, acrylic, pastels, charcoal, and watercolor. And he also does photography along with other crafts. So I think you might enjoy him. Then there is Cute Crochet. This is all about cute crochet items in bright colors and how to make them yourselves. So. Then there is Crazy Knot Crochet with Lisa. She is a self-taught crocheter in knitting, and she loves making blankets and all things crafty. Don't we all? Now this next channel, she has a Spanish channel, and now she now has an English channel. I have watched her Spanish channel, and many times you can follow along just seeing what they're doing. Um, I've done a a blanket or two of hers in the past. Laura Cepeda English. This is Laura Cepeda. She is from Mexico. She is a crochet designer. 
And you already know her from her YouTube channel, Laura Cepeda, which is in Spanish. So she wants to welcome you into her channel that is in English. It's time for you to enjoy the same content she has on her other channel, but now in English. For the friends all around the world that had been asking for, she hopes you enjoy and love this channel as much as she does. And I do. Um... There are a couple things in Spanish that don't translate well in English with crochet, so the English channel just helps further. This lady, I first saw her when she was spinning and knitting, and that is caffeinated crafting with Gert. She is on a fiber art adventure. She is primarily a knitter, but she also spins, weaves, quilts, sews and crochets. She's also a gamer into Minecraft and Pokemon and a Harry Potter fan. You'll also find that she has a, craft, a caffeinated crafting group on Ravelry and that's where all her show notes are housed. So I hope you'll give her a look-see. I enjoy seeing her. Um, a couple of years back she'd gotten a new kitten and it was interesting to watch those. All right. The acquisitions. Um, first off, I have a couple of acquisitions. I'm going to show you the Hobby Lobby first, and then I will show you the Michaels. In Hobby Lobby, lots of times they have uh, a lot of fabrics that are on sale. Um, so I pick those up when I can. One of those was this pattern. It is great for using for the interiors of bags. This was $3 a yard, so I took everything that they had. Um, this is a nice Christmas print. Um, you could use it any time of year, but I think it's more towards Christmas. It is a bit of a faded jeans look, what I call red jeans, but you know, I got this for $2 a yard. So, yeah, I did pick it up. Now, the rest of these come from Joann's. Um, first of all, I have a project that someone has asked me to do. Um, making a... Um, stop and think, Jane. A crossbody bag. Done. She initially wanted dark blue satin. <clears throat> when I make these bags, I use flannel black, flannel, flannel, flannel backed satin. That way, when you're doing your stitching, you don't get the kind of runs that you get with just using satin. Satin is a little harder to just sew because of that. Um, you have to have a really sharp needle. Um, Although I do use very sharp needle when I'm working with this as well. But um, couldn't get blue, <clears throat> navy blue. So I am making it in the black. And it will be a crossbody bag that I will do some quilting with a blue thread. Um, basically a flower quilt that I do free motion quilting. Joann's. Had some cute Christmas fabrics, and one of those is the puppy dogs with the presents. So, uh, yeah, there'll be some bags made of those. And then, of course, you can't have just puppy dogs. you got to have the kittens, too. So there are some kittens with the bags, with the uh, Christmas presents. And, of course, they had a nice little Christmas paw print that will go with probably the pups. I think with the cats, I'll probably use that red. Um, but, um, yeah, got a couple of yards of that. And then, um, you know, I, like everybody else, am gnome crazy. So, Christmas gnomes. They're awful cute. And, of course, it's a black background, which is great, you know, for bags that you're going to have laying on the ground. Now, I am going to show you one more item that I got from Hobby Lobby and that is they had reversible afghans for $2.24 um, they had quite a few of the magazines marked down 
and this one on the front is one that I would like to do however Jane doesn't want to do it in this the colorway on this is soft gray heather uh, turquoise for the accents here and then this here is Icelandic in red heart but I thought I had a fabric I thought a fabric thought I had a yarn at home that would go with these two colors that I picked up at Michael's and one is the uh, white in the craft smart or yeah craft smart and then the other is the reef in the craft smart and I thought I had a color that would go with these and I do not so I am going to have to go back and find a color that will go with these two at Michaels but while I was at Michaels I saw that they had these two natural marls, marls and this is in the color emerald they only had two left and they were marked down so I picked up those two I can't remember how much they were but they weren't very much um, so I did pick those two up I think they'll make a beautiful shawl and then I went down the uh, clearance aisle you know because you got to go down the clearance aisle I have no idea what the colorway on this is but it's basically grays and taupes with white this was marked down to three dollars and uh, I had a nice like 20% off coupon my senior discount and I still had some money left on the uh, Michaels gift card that I had won from wings last year so I spent it all I think I had to spend ten dollars of my own money I also got a sugar skull in resin with roses on the top of it um, I'm not going to show you that because that's already put away but that is it for today's uh, little episode so I will see you again soon remember to be kind to one another love one another get out there and see this big beautiful world live in it it's beautiful see you guys soon bye